Hi everyone, it's Tom Watkins with Advanced Upstream. And this afternoon, I'd like to share with you a test we're gonna do. There's been some questions brought to us about, is it possible to open our sleeves with a typical cement wiper dart? And the answer to that is no. So we're gonna pump this typical dart, a wiper dart through our, our fixture. In our fixture, we've got uh, a couple of our limitless frac sleeves installed. We have them set up with one brass shear pin in each sleeve, which corresponds to about 250 PSI of uh, opening pressure for each one. So again, what we're gonna do here today is pump a, a typical industry cement wiper dart through our frock sleeves. So it's gonna go down this way here. Um, each one of our sleeves is set to open and ship with about 250 PSI of differential. Uh, we're gonna pump this all the way through and retrieve the cement wiper dart at the tail end. The rate at which we're gonna pump this through our fixture is about one cube a minute, um, probably plus or minus 25 liters a minute. So around a thousand liters a minute. So with that, we'll get to it and we'll get the guys to load it up. So, Bass, you wanna open up our fixture and we'll get going? So you guys wanna get the dart in there? Takes a bit to push it in. And shortly we'll get to pumping. So in a moment, we're gonna fire the pump up and pump our dart and launch it through our fixture at uh, about a thousand liters a minute. And the positive test will be that we don't open any of our sleeves and exceed 250 PSI per sleeve to, to open them. So Vas, you guys ready? We'll get our pump going, a thousand liters a minute and launch the dart. Nothing too exciting happening. So our wiper dart should be at the end of the fixture here. You want to get the uh, the forklift out, and we'll just pull this block off. Okay. Yeah, it's right there. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's right. It's it's cocked over here. Yeah, I don't know if it's there, Jane. We can try it. Bring it up slowly. Recording? It looks like our darts, uh, our darts kind of hung up in the collar here, so we're gonna just see if we can pump it out a little bit. And there it is. And there you can see the wiper dart. We actually tore it up a little bit on something. I think that's on our T where we're discharging. But there you can see we pumped through. Obviously didn't open any of our sleeves and uh, there should be no trouble in pumping a wiper dart through the, through the completion. Normally our sleeves would be pinned at around 2,000 PSI. For this case here, we're about 250 PSI, so there's hardly any concern of the sleeves opening. I think the damage that we have here, the, uh, the wiper dart actually got pumped into the T on the way out, so that's, that's what was uh, causing that. But obviously you wouldn't have a T that 
is discharging fluid in your completion. So in the arrangement here, the, the damage on the wiper dart was caused by the, the discharge of this T here. So what happened was the dart got to this point and the fluid that was flowing out of the discharge of the T caught the, uh, the side of the wiper dart here and pulled it into it. So that's why it wasn't initially at the end when we first opened it up and why we needed to pump it out. But again, this is nothing to do with the well. This is just simply to do with the configuration of the T.